Yeah, bet you lot thought this was going to be something exciting and sordid, didn't you? Well, you're going to be disappointed. This film is about the Isle of Wight, and about the only exciting thing to happen here is the crazy motorcycle TT race. That's the Isle of Man. Is it? Yeah, that small island smack bang in the middle of England's south coast. It's known for its beaches of course, and seafront promenades like Shanklin Beach and south facing Ventnor Beach, but we're not interested in either of those. No, we're only interested in the needles. Yes, these three large rocks on the western coast of the Isle of Wight, guarded by a lighthouse that was built, well, hundreds of years ago to stop ships from crashing into the needles and losing their no claims bonus. Our journey started from Southampton Pier on a red funnel ferry. We boarded within a few minutes of our 11am departure and then we were on our way. And there were some interesting sights from the ferry as we left, but my favourite though was looking back at Southampton as it slowly dwindled in the background. So, we're on our way at last. On our journey, there were small boats and big ships headed towards us and away from us. Yeah, and uh, circling around us too. Queen Victoria Park to the left. And Forley with all its comings and goings to our right. Oh dear, the ferry was filled with noisy kids on their way to Osborne House, Queen Victoria's favorite gaff, apparently. I thought about shoving a few overboard, but it was such a lovely morning, I let it pass. In fact, the only sunny day of 2017. After about three quarters of an hour, we reached East Cows. So named apparently because the two sandbanks on the entrance to the port town had a likeness to two cows. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought when I arrived here. They looked just like two cows. With the ferry docked, it was time for us to leave Red Funnel's fun boat and head out into the unknown. The last time I was on the Isle of Wight was back when I was seven. Although back in those days I had more hair, I wasn't so good at driving. After a short stop with diesel, we were on our way and it was now after 12 p.m. I set the sat nav to take us to the needles at the best possible speed. Uh, yeah, but I wasn't actually driving this fast though, uh, officer. Now the Isle of Wight doesn't really have a motorway as such, but there are some large B roads. It took us about half an hour or so to reach the Needles Park. Sounds painful. So, unable to find the bloke that relieves you of a fiver for parking, we headed on our way along the cliff road towards the Needles. I was so excited. At last, after all these years, I was going to get close and personal to those pesky ship wrecking rocks. First of all though, we had to get there safely. The road was completely unfenced and one slip in the wrong area and it would have been brown pants time. Luckily though, we made it. As we got close to the needles, we walked down a large concreted area which apparently was a rocket testing place in the 1950s. Good old Britannia. When she's not ruling the waves, she's ready to blow up another country on your behalf. God save the Queen. After we'd been robbed by the National Trust, we went into a museum. Not the most exciting place we've ever visited, but there were some interesting things here. 
namely ancient guns capable of blowing up anyone who dare peek into our very exciting coastal towns selling sticks of rock and sandwiches, but there are also some command and ammunition rooms. The view of the needles was wonderful here, and I didn't know there was an old wreck just beyond the lighthouse. In low tides it's possible to stand on the boilers of the ship which are just below the waterline and of course a shipping hazard. Most exciting of all, Karen discovered a tunnel leading down a metal spiral staircase that led through the rock to see an even better view of the needles. Of course she didn't really discover it as the guide told us it was nearby but I thought it sound better for this film. When Karen returned up the spiral staircase, a familiar handsome face was waiting for her. No, not mine, the dogs. I would have dearly loved to have flown the drone out along the needles, but the National Trust representatives weren't so keen on the idea, as apparently it would have caused a health and safety issue to the rocks. All in all, our trip to the Isle of Wight was a great day out, and the needles were just amazing to see. I would thoroughly recommend it if you like walking and fresh air. I'm not really sure why we had to pay the £13 or so to see something which has been here for thousands of years, but that's our lovely government system for you, and God bless them too. Well, that's it for us. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now.